I'm director of operations for the Shanti Bhavan Children's Project. Shanti Bhavan translates to Haven of Peace, and we are a we're a nonprofit education program, <coughs> or actually, in, in many ways, we are a poverty alleviation program. We take in children from the uh, most deprived communities in India, uh, from families making less than a dollar, dollar twenty-five a day. Uh, some of them are orphans. Uh, a lot of them are from single mother and single parent households. About 70% of India's population lives in the rural villages, and they are mostly untouched by the effects of globalization and the increasing job opportunities in the city. So there's a lot of the population that's left behind. We work with the most disadvantaged communities. All of them fall under the poverty line. About 92% of them fall on, uh, within that category of being untouchable. So I think like the big myth within nonprofit education is uh, basic literacy will solve the problem. And they give the basics in reading and writing, basics in math, and that's about it. Some programs go into primary education, maybe they'll do secondary education, and then they let the kids go. The focus has often been, and has been for decades, on a single issue. Uh, if we make these kids literate, they will get out of poverty. And that has been a great disservice. A great disservice both to the children, uh, to donors, uh, and to the entire process. It is destructive to tell a child, I will get you out of poverty. Believe in me, come into my program, I will get you out of poverty, and release them back into the villages of the slums that they came from, and let them go. There's no follow-up, there's no guidance, there's no mentorship, there's no support. And these kids are back within five years they're back into exactly where they were when they started off. We look at the question of intervention and we look at the question of nonprofit education in a different way. How can we do something differently? What does poverty alleviation look like if you approach it not with simply let's, let's put somebody through a program, but we look at the end result. Shanti Bhavan provides 17 plus years of holistic radical intervention. So from three and a half, four years old, until 21, and we provide everything. So that includes housing, clothing, and medical care, healthy food and clean water, a beautiful environment, and mentorship and guidance, a community that they can believe in. We are about excellence. Everything we do is about excellence, and that is to ensure these kids every advantage when they get out of the program. If they're not armed and prepared properly, they will face high levels of discrimination. So we want to give them every opportunity to enter that workforce uh, with the strongest footing possible. When they go forward, they'll be able to compete with their, with their upper class peers or their middle class peers without any fear of discrimination or fear that uh, they'll be looked at as less than. Every single one of our children who graduates from Shanti Bhavan goes to college. Every single one of them graduates from college and goes to jobs like Deloitte. Mercedes-Benz, Ernst & Young, Goldman Sachs, Wipro, J.P. Morgan Chase, every single one of them. Every single one of them earns more in their first two to three years than their parents will earn in a lifetime. That's a quantum leap in breaking the cycle of poverty. One of the things I'm most proud about Shanti Bhavan is it's not about a single child. We want each child to get out of the program and be successful, but we want them to carry on dozens of others. So every child who gets out of poverty within the first year has given back about 10% of their salaries, back to their families, back to their communities, back to others in need. Now in 2021, they're building houses for their parents. Uh, they are improving the community drastically, uh, have invested in like local clinics, and this is at 21, 22, at 30, 35, I really think they're gonna have a powerful impact on the region.